Welcome back. Minnesota's DFL party has its sights set on big victories in November. But first, it needs to overcome party fracturing that occurred in the primaries this week. Valley News Team's Peter Zampa from our Washington Bureau is still on the ground in the Twin Cities and joins us live. Peter, what's the DFL plan for coming together? Andrea and Mike, they say they already are coming together despite two candidates winning big on Tuesday night without the DFL endorsement. Now, the party chair tells me they're focusing on bringing all factions of the party together with the common goal of keeping Minnesota blue. This veteran walks proudly in my progressive values. The land of 10,000 lakes leans liberal. Ken Martin wants to make sure that doesn't change. We're still family and we come together as a party now and support all of our candidates from the top of the ticket all the way down. He says there wasn't much inter-party drama during the primaries, but at a Unity press conference Thursday, Martin would not directly answer whether he invited former gubernatorial candidate and state attorney general Lori Swanson. There's no sense in relitigating anything that happened in the primary. What's important is making sure that we take our fight to the Republicans. U.S. Rep Tim Waltz defeated party-endorsed state rep Aaron Murphy in the gubernatorial race. Martin says it was a tough loss for Murphy, but she says she's ready to fight for Walls to keep the governor's residence a DFL shade of blue. I will continue to bring my voice, uh, my work, um, my door knocking skills, and whatever else it takes to make sure that we win. As Walls faces off against Hennepin County Commissioner Jeff Johnson in the general election, the party is facing questions after accusations against DFL State Attorney General candidate Keith Ellison. His ex-girlfriend says he physically and emotionally abused her. The DFL and Walls say with what is known now, Ellison is the candidate. They're a unified party. We're focused on doing what we've always done, is being in front of Minnesota citizens, hoping to reach their, uh, where their hearts are at and what they want to see in government. The DFL tells us they feel great about the voter turnout they saw in the primaries Tuesday. They say one thing that could fire up their voters even more is if President Donald Trump comes to the state to campaign for the GOP candidates. Live in St. Paul, back to you, Mike and Andrea. All right, thanks, Peter. And voters will have their chance to be heard when the 2018 general election takes place on November 6th. Later on Valley News Live at 6, hear from the president as he sends condolences following the passing of Aretha Franklin. Mighty warm weather across the valley today with highs near 90 from Roseau through Grand Forks, 86, the peak temperature here in the FM area. An increase in haze and smoke in the skies. All details on your late week forecast next.